Hello and welcome to this video. I am new at this. I'm not good at this. You're probably watching me and making fun of this. I'm going to do a video today on all of the things that I bought for Christmas. It is my first ever Christmas not living at home with my parents anymore. So I went out and I spent a little more than I wanted to on a whole bunch of stuff. I know a lot of my friends want to know exactly what I got and I wanted to mention that I got pretty much all of this from Walmart, I think. Well, this is a mess, but this is everything that I got. You can't even see some of the other stuff. I have my receipt here so I can tell you exactly how much it costed. I bought a couple extra things besides Christmas stuff, so it was like about $110 for everything that I got. So I'm going to start with the most obvious thing, which are my lights. and. These lights were $8.26 for like a bunch of feet. <laughs> they go all the way around like half of the room. There's still room for more. I just got the clear ones with the white. That's pretty much all I wanted. I'm happy about it. I think they're cute. I still haven't gotten a tree yet. I'm getting a fake one because I don't want to deal with the hassle of a real one. I'm lazy, okay? The first things that I got for the tree were a bunch of these bulbs and I know it's cheesy, but I wanted a blue, blue Christmas because can't go wrong with a blue Christmas. I just think it's pretty. This is a pack of 50 shatterproof ornaments by Holiday Time, um, $17.88. I also got shatterproof because I break things because you can never have enough and I wanted a really full tree this year. I got two more packs of, they're both 26 shatterproof ornaments in each for $4.98. So another, you know, $10 on a bunch more. And they have a little bit different designs on them. The only thing that looks to be about the same, these little, the white bulbs, just like a, green and blue kind of holographic effect. What's that called? Let me Google it. Iridescent. It's iridescent. I got two of those. The next thing that I got were two packs of, once again, holiday time. Shout out to them. They made the cutest stuff this year. $2.98 for these glitter ornaments. There's 12 little snowflakes in here. So they're just gonna hang on the tree like that. You get it. The next thing that I got are these Holiday Time 12 glitter ornaments. Again, $2.98, but these ones are little pine cones. I was gonna get two packs of these and then I was like, you know what? I am going nuts with this whole tree decorating thing and I don't even have a tree yet. So if I put it all together and decide I want more pine cones, I can just go back to Walmart and get some more. Another thing that I got for the Christmas tree is this ornament and it's got this little heart on it and you're not gonna be able to see it, but it's got this little like stairway. I'm not gonna read it because I'm gonna cry, but it's basically a memorial ornament because not only am I celebrating my first Christmas this year out of the house, I'm celebrating my first Christmas without my great grandmother. So I wanted something to remember her by and other family members as well. It, it touched my soul. Hey! I just went to grab more stuff because obviously I have more decorations than just a couple things. I found the lights. And this is an unopened pack yet. So each pack comes with 300 clear mini lights and it's 62 and a half feet total. I thought I used both packs of these lights, but I didn't. 62.5 feet. That's a lot of feet. But of course, I didn't think I'd have enough because I'm crazy. I can use these for the tree too. I have extra. Our tree will not be naked. Next thing that I bought is a tree star because I don't like the angels. I saw them in the store. I get where they're going, but at the same time, they're so realistic and it's almost scary. It looks like there's just a child at the top of your tree. But this one, Looks like a little snowflake and it's got like holographic little, 
I don't know what you'd call this. And I think this was like $8. I'm not even looking at this anymore. <laughs> Tinsel Star, $7.98. I think it's gonna be so pretty on top of the tree with all the like blue and silver that we have going on. And the final thing that I got for the tree was probably one of the cheapest things. This is the tree skirt. It was one of the like $4 ones. I swear this was $4. I want to say this was the $2.97 thing. Very cheap. Very cheaply made. You can see like right through it pretty much. This is basically just like pure polyester. And I'm probably going to have to cut it down and decorate it. The rest of them there were like $30. Why do I want to buy something for $30 that sits on the floor? I got this little camper it's a sparkly it's silver sparkly camper and it's got this little christmas tree on the top of it and it's got lights all around it they don't turn on but i don't really care if you've never seen national lampoon's christmas vacation a we can't be friends and b you won't get this you won't know what this means but i saw it and it wasn't advertised as something from the movie but it's pretty close and this is a, also a holiday time collection piece and it was only $1.98. This is where we have a dilemma. I really love flannel print now. My boyfriend got me obsessed with it, but I also wanted a blue Christmas. So I guess my theme this year is like silver, blue, red flannel. So I got these little letters and they have red flannel on the inside. I got one for him and one for me. One's an A, one's an R, and these are our first initials and they were each $2.97. And I just have them sitting on our windowsill next to some snowmen. I just thought they were so cute. And you can't go wrong with like little customized little things, you know? The next things that I got were our stuffies. And these are so cute, such good quality. So I saw these and they say Merry Christmas on them. You could even get like puffy paint and write your own name on it. The possibilities are endless, okay? So I get two, one for me, one for my boyfriend, and these are hanging on the wall. These stockings themselves were $7.98. That's perfect, it's so cheap, it's beautiful. The last two things that I got were $5 each. This one says Merry Christmas, and it's got the little truck, and it's got a wreath and some pine trees in the back. And when I saw it, and I saw that it was only $5, I had to get another one. This one just has a big old buck on it, and maybe it's supposed to be a reindeer. I don't know. I live in Wisconsin. This is a buck, okay? It's got a rack on it. I think these are perfect. I think they're adorable. Also, this one is kind of reversible, so whether you throw it down, it's gonna look the same. This one is just plaid on the back, but I didn't really care. But this was also kind of part of the Christmas obsession of decorating and buying. The bed I got at Target and it was super expensive. I don't remember how much it costed. I know I spent almost $100, if not more. It's Sherpa, the pillowcases are both Sherpa, and then my fitted sheet, and the other pillowcases are just black because I thought it fit, you know, the theme. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I gave you guys some good ideas. I'm not really good at this whole YouTube thing yet, but I'm trying. I figured I'd start on a note, a happy note, a jolly note, if you will, and do a Christmas haul. Because I'm super thankful and proud that I was able to buy all of this with my own money, and I'm super excited to put it all together, and I will definitely make a video when everything is all set up and everything's organized. So stay tuned, have a good rest of your day, and be kind.